I've spent one SUI and sent over 1300 transactions. Today we're looking at spam to earn. Proof of spam. The more transactions you send, the more spam you earn. All right, before we begin, there's no value in the spam token. I consider this a tool test, a degen test, and a threshold test of the SWE blockchain to see how many transactions can it really handle while remaining affordable and while remaining reliable. Now, the spam tool and other SWE apps have been created by Juicy Bits. I'm going to assume it's Juicy Bits and not Juicy Bits because it says Juicy Bits. So be sure to follow him so you have the latest updates on what's going on with spam. Now, this video is in collaboration with the SWE Foundation, where they leave it to me to create content about what's going on in the SWE network. And right now, you can earn spam tokens by spamming the network with transactions. So we're going to learn about spam to earn on SWE. The more transactions you send, the more spam you earn. And to explain, like I'm five, or you're five in this scenario, 1 billion spam tokens are minted every day. You earn spam simply by sending sweet transactions. The more transactions you send, the more spam you receive. There is no proof of work, only proof of spam. And before we begin, don't buy spam. This is not a token advertisement. You're not here to buy the token. You're here to earn the token by spamming the network with transactions. I have no idea what the value of spam will be. And this is just to participate in this network test to test out this tool and to be a part of the spam revolution. So don't buy the token. I don't know if it's going to be of any value in the future, but it is an interesting test to see how many transactions per second can really happen and if they can maintain these fast speeds while still offering low transaction costs. So this is a very unique way to participate in blockchain threshold testing. All right, let's start spamming to earn spam on SWE. So first off, we're at the homepage here and it shows the official coin type. I Again, don't buy the token, but if you are, that is the official contract, so you know what it is. Now we want to set up our wallet. And once you go to the wallet page, it's automatically going to give a wallet for you. So if you already set up a wallet and want to use it here, you can do that. But it's easier to have a separate wallet for this and to just fund the wallet that they provide. Again, that's up to you, but it was very easy for me just to get my address and then send SWE there. So I sent 10 SWE tokens there. That is my secret key. I'm going to blur that out because I don't want you to steal my 9 SWE tokens. That is about 9 US dollars. So once your wallet is funded, you are going to go to the spam section. And uh, I guess we got to take a step back. If you're new to DeFi and you don't use a lot of DeFi tools, you're going to have to check out my playlist on how to get started with SWE. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. And basically, you need your own crypto wallet. You need to have SWE in there. And then you need to send SWE to the wallet address provided to you by the website. This just helps keep your wallet separated. It reduces risk. And you never want to be using your secret key or seed phrase everywhere. You want to limit the amount of times you use it to limit risk. So whatever address is provided in this section, your SWE address, you're going to send some SWE there. I only sent 10 SWE tokens and I don't recommend sending a lot. Otherwise, it's just going to be running for a very long time. But you can send however much you want because you have the secret phrase. You can import that to a wallet and then you can get your tokens back that way. It is a couple extra steps, but for myself, it's more convenient just to fund the wallet with a small amount of tokens. So once you send your tokens over, you should see your SWE balance there. And if you do, you can begin spamming. So you can see here, I've already sent some transactions. Yours will start with zero and you can see the status is stopped. So stopped just means it's not running and to get it to start running, you just click the spam button. So now that has switched over and in the lower section here, you can see the amount of transactions that are happening in real time. So you can just watch that and you can see your SWE balance lower over time and you can send a lot of transactions for 0.01 SWE and yeah, it's about 
13 transactions per 0.01 SWE. And that's a lot. So uh, I'm not really going to sit here and try to keep talking and watching this because this would be a very long and boring live stream. So let's learn about some FAQs regarding the spam thing. Mint to spam. All right, let's, let's move it on. Frequently spammed questions. Do I need to keep the browser open to mine spam tokens? Yes. When can I claim my spam? For the first transaction counter, which you created today, you can mint spam until Friday at 17.30 UTC. You must register it between Friday at 17.30 and Saturday 17.30. The miner does it for you. So by registering, that just means you set up an account and you hit start. Do I need to spam the whole day or epoch? Because each epoch, which is how they're measuring time, lasts 24 hours. You can see this epoch 386 started today at 0127 and ends tomorrow at 0127. No, you can spam as much or as little as you want. You can stop at any time. Just don't forget to register your counter tomorrow. And more details here. I didn't understand the part about register my counter. Will there be a button to do this? The spam button automatically registers your active counter when it's time, epoch change. And then one epoch later, it also mints your spam. It handles the whole counter cycle for you. But I will also add an individual button so it's clearer. That just means after you're done spamming, the next day you just have to hit spam again, just maybe one transaction or zero transactions, just to register your activity so you can claim those spam tokens. And if you want to stop spamming, which you can do at any moment, you just hit stop. That's it. It's stopping. If you want to get started again, you just hit spam and it continues on. And let me just shrink that so you can see everything. Transactions are running. And if I want to stop this now, again, you just hit stop. Now, let's look at some technical data to see how the Sweet blockchain is handling all these spam transactions. And we can go to average transactions per second, and it's gone from 79 to 590, about 600. And when you're looking at TPS or transactions per second, this is actual transactions that are happening. It's not showing the threshold because the threshold for SWE is unlimited. It's unlimited transactions per second. They just need the hardware to keep up with it. And the demand clearly isn't there yet. And we also have to understand the gas cost because, you know, on Ethereum, if there are a lot of transactions and a lot of demand, the gas fee goes up. But this shows the average gas fee, and that has dropped dramatically because when you are spamming these transactions by using that spam tool, the transactions have a very low fee because it's not doing anything blockchain intensive. So the average gas fee does reflect that. And the good thing is gas fees didn't go up even though people are spamming the network. And I'm sure you've also seen that problem with Bitcoin lately with runes and their launch and the average transaction price went way up. And here's an update from Juicy Bits. Breaking news, spam transactions gone wild. SWE network remains unfazed. Miner sent over 16 million transactions so far and it's only been a few hours. 16 million transactions, yeah. You're looking at 600 transactions per second. That's on average. So every second, there's over 600 transactions happening. And that's how we got to that 16 million number. Spam is doing more transactions than all other SWE packages combined. Meanwhile, SWE network is chugging along like nothing happened. And we can see relevant data to prove that. Now, the real question is, is this going to make you rich? No, very likely not. You are not spending a lot of SWE. The spam token has no value, but you are participating in this interesting social experiment. So I'm going to continue spamming SWE. I have spent less than uh, two SWE tokens, 1.29 at the moment, and I'll see what it turns into. Now, this video was really just to share that the SWE blockchain can handle a lot of spam transactions without the fees going up in price while still remaining very fast. And we're not seeing other decentralized applications or users suffer because the network is getting spammed. So I'm just considering this a threshold test with a minimal reward. Maybe I'll break even on the suite I spent and 
that's okay with me. Uh, I wouldn't speculate too much on this and start trying to mine it like crazy because uh, there's not much information on what value it will have. So good luck out there if you are gonna spam and I'm gonna leave links to it in the description. If this video was helpful, you know what to do. And with that, I hope you got some value for today.